I'm Hannah. You've probably seen some of my recipes on the Global Cycling Network. We've done the omelettes and the rice cakes and so on. And it's all done in my beautiful truck. So uh, I'm going to give you a tour of the truck and uh, please come in. First stop in my, my beautiful truck, this is the welcoming area. So uh, this area is the staff area. That's where you find everything you can eat when you're a guest or a, a colleague of mine. To my Italian amazing uh, colleague here, the slicer. Uh, good for all the tasty, amazing hams and sausages we buy. Love that one. Everything stainless steel. I designed it myself, so uh, I know where everything is. I can show you uh, the amazing um, drawers here. I've got all my condiments. And uh, we got little locks on the drawers, so when the truck uh, drives, like this, and here. So when the truck drives, the drawers can't open and stuff doesn't fly everywhere. And that goes for all of the drawers. Lots of workspace, nice equipment. Um, it's all professional kitchen gear. Um, we got nice induction, easy to keep clean, super fast. Amazing hood, um, nice and powerful for when we uh, grill stuff and, uh, and cook up some nice stews. So uh, most importantly, lots of uh, fridge space. I can uh, shop and fill up for uh, four to five days in a row. So uh, veg uh, and fruit fridge, always packed with lots of tasty, delicious goodies. The cooked stuff, meats, fish, dairy, staff Coca-Cola section, not for me, but for my colleagues. We've got the freezer, again, nice big one. And this, the ice cream. We do our own sorbets and ice creams. That's very important, the riders, they love it. And we keep our rice cakes in here also. Riders tend to like anything that's sweet, especially when it's warm. Ice cream works with sweet and cold. So um, if they could live with dessert, they probably would, but they can't. So they get really tasty stuff when they've done really good. That's the deal. Like any truck should have uh, the laundry space. We make a mess, everyone makes a mess, so you need to clean your stuff. So it's brilliant for that. We're very messy. <laughs> no, we're very clean. We clean everything and the dryer is brilliant too. So all this is uh, storage, you see, like this. Uh, we have lots of uh, rice milk, oat milk, quinoa milk, dried muesli, non-sweetened. Um, here's what the, the riders, they uh, eat the most. The pasta and rice cabinet. Da -da. The bicycle pasta for when they do really well. They tend to eat a lot of pasta sometimes. It's either pasta, rice or potatoes, sweet potatoes. We try and encourage them to eat less pasta and more rice and um, more uh, starchy alternatives. Thing is uh, the professional version of a food processor. It's called a robot. Uh, basically, you can blitz um, a rock into puree. Not that I do that, but uh, it's a very powerful machine. We like that. But it might be a little too much for home, one would say. So um, yeah. This is my bag, ta-da! Um, yeah, so this area is basically just for uh, machines and, uh, you know, putting our bags away. We've got a nice mixer for breads and desserts. Um, yeah. Day-old bread, going to be croutons soon. Ice cream machine. This is the beauty machine that makes ice cream. So the containers you saw before, um, they go into this one and it works as a little blender, like this. So it's a frozen solid container that you then shave very, very finely with this and the machine pumps air into it and you get the most beautiful sorbet you could ever imagine. Everyone would like one at home, but uh, it's a little pricey. Rider's best friend. I'm their next best friend because I, uh, I operate the machine. In Spain, it's unbelievably warm. So get ripe bananas one day after they turn brown. So you want to go green, yellow and uh, the soft ones. So you constantly have a flow in bananas. Brown ones are good for cakes and smoothies, much more sweet. These two amazing uh, things are combination ovens. Ta -da. Good thing about this oven is it has a thermometer built in. So I can attach a thermometer in here and uh, put it in whatever roast I have. I'll show you. Uh, it's, it's almost completely clean. Uh, yeah, put the thermometer in and you can set your uh, core temperature to uh, 65 and the oven just uh, deals with it and it beeps when it's done, so super easy. This one is my best friend. Ken, the amazing dishwasher. It has a cycle of two minutes, boom, and then you've got clean stuff. Super high pressure water hose in your kitchen, in a truck, it's uh, 
unheard of. But uh, other chefs will be very jealous when they see this. Very important. I like it. This is basically the kitchen. Uh, we have uh, the rest here is my apprentice workspace. Uh, lots of nice space to work at. The memory board, so we don't forget. When you're tired, you tend to get, you know, forgetful. So uh, this is our friend when forgetful. That's good. And uh, last but not least, the music station and the ham. Just gonna, it's just gonna hang there until we slice it. You wanna hear something like four months, but it hasn't. It's been there two hours. I just bought it. <laughs> Subscribe to GCN for more amazing recipes from this truck and me. I can lie for you. <laughs> this has been hanging here since the last Vuelta España, so now it's really nice and, uh, and, uh, and aged. I like to use apple cider vinegar. Um, just has a really nice, like tangy, sweet, um, flavor just rounds it all up with the honey and a bit of salt.